Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Georgina Bisbee and welcome to my house renovation and house extension uh, vlog series. And uh, we're uh, moving apace with the project now. We've got through the whole kind of tedious uh, stage of the planning process, which can obviously take quite a lot of time and the drains and the groundwork and all those things that take a lot of time and money, but you don't actually see, um, you know, real tangible results. But we're finally on to the, uh, the brickwork and the insulation stage. So this is probably one of the most gratifying stages of the build in terms of like within a couple of days or a couple of weeks, suddenly you have walls and suddenly you can see your project taking shape and it gets really, really exciting. Um, to be honest, when it came to the brickwork stage of, uh, of our project, the stars aligned for us. We were just so, so lucky because we started the project and because we didn't have a huge budget, because we were working through the winter for some of it, um, because we were taking on some of the work ourselves, we couldn't plan every single detail of the project. So we didn't have all of our trades lined up. We had kind of lists of people that we would like to go to if possible, but we just couldn't really book people in because we didn't know exactly when we were going to need them. So it just happened that uh, when it came to getting the walls up, a couple of brickies that we'd seen around the area whose work was amazing um, became available. So we couldn't have been luckier. And uh, I mean, take a look at the footage and see what you think. But um, we think they're some of the best brickers we've seen. And we were really, really delighted with their work. And it's not just the fact that the brickwork looks nice. If you've got a good bricky and they're doing a good job, it's actually a lot more structurally sound as well. Um, so, yeah, let us know, in fact, in the comments uh, below if you agree, if you've seen better or you think these guys are uh, some of the best that you've seen. So, um, obviously, brickwork goes hand in hand uh, with insulation as well. Um, so, these are just a few things that we sort of learnt along the way um, doing this project. So, here's Mark building the walls, uh, the cavity walls, which uh, most walls are these days. So, that's basically two walls with a gap in the middle, which is known as the cavity. Um, you usually made of bricks or blocks, sometimes bricks on the outside and then blocks on the inside. And the cavity is where the insulation goes. So here's Mark installing a wall tie. It's worth noting that insufficiently or poorly installed wall ties can actually cause you structural problems further down the line. This is a movement or expansion joint that's sometimes uh, referred to. And this basically is designed to relieve or absorb movement uh, caused by temperature, changes in temperature, particularly relevant this year because we've had some real extremes. Certainly in the southeast, we've had a bit of a drought as well. So, um, you know, that has all sorts of effects on your building. But basically, it just allows the brick or the blockwork to move to accommodate those changes so that it doesn't then crack. Um, we needed this because we've got a long, expensive brickwork, which expands um, over six metres in length. So that's when you need one of these. So if you've got one of those on your building, maybe just worth checking that that does actually get included in the build because um, it's not that uncommon to see buildings without them when they should have them. So uh, another point to bear in mind. So insulation obviously goes hand in hand with brickwork. So we went for a full fill cavity insulation from Ecotherm, which is a tongue and groove system. And as you can see here, it's the full thickness of the cavity, so it goes the whole way across in contrast to some boards which are uh, not the full thickness or things like mineral wool which gets shoved down inside. That thickness means it's really, really energy efficient, so it can really help you to improve the energy efficiency of your building. Um, the only issue is we noticed uh, on the Skill Builder website when we were doing the installation of this uh, product at this stage of the build, um, some people in the comments had said they had their reservations about working with something like this because they were saying you'd have to get the brickwork so clean to be able to easily install that without it being compromised. We didn't actually have any issues ourselves with it, um, but it's something that you perhaps need to factor in if you were looking at it and um, how confident you were with working with it. But the big, big benefit was the energy efficiency. And this is particularly relevant if you're looking to increase your glazed area um, in your build. So if you're going beyond the allowed glazed area, if you're looking to have big bifold doors, sliding doors, big windows, which is obviously uh, fashionable now and everyone loves letting as much light as they can into their property, then you may need to actually increase your insulation, do something called a SAPS calculation. And this is one opportunity to, uh, to increase the efficiency, the energy efficiency of your building. Now, your builder's not necessarily going to tell you that, and they're obviously, who can blame them, not going to necessarily want to work with material that's much more difficult for them to work with. Um, so at the design stage, this is the kind of thing that you might want to um, to have a little think about. So that's it. That was, uh, you know, a matter of days, weeks, uh, really, uh, all together, and the walls uh, were up and the insulation was in, and suddenly we could really, really uh, start to see our build taking shape. So super exciting, super exciting to see this happen. If, like me, um, you find it difficult to sort of actually visualise the plans coming to life, um, you like to see it in front of you, this is when you start to really get into planning mode. And planning our kitchen 
which um, we always knew because we've gone for a sort of build now, finish later approach. So we only really had the budget to get the structure up and uh, we knew that it was going to take us a little bit longer to, to finish the build. Hence, I'm sitting, this is going to be our kitchen, but I'm sitting in these walls now. But because we knew that, we knew that we were going to try and live in the space a little bit before we finalised our kitchen plans. I think we are now on about uh, reincarnation 10 of the, uh, of the kitchen plans because as we sit in the room and even as the sun moves and um, as it changes in the time of year, we keep going, oh no, 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 we definitely want to have a table there. No. And it's really funny. It's really funny to watch everyone else use the space as well, like our kids. And um, so I think, I don't want to go and say it, but I think we might have finally um, finalised our kitchen plans, but I will share them with you very soon. And I know that kitchen planning is the most difficult um, you know, stage for certainly an extension, I think, for a lot of people, because getting that right, you know you're probably not going to do it again for several years, uh, if ever. And uh, so there's such big decisions that you're going to have to live with every day and you really want to get the most out of the space. And the thing that I think is that a lot of people just call in the kitchen designer and kind of hand the whole thing over to them. But then you end up living with their vision and you might strike lucky and get a really, really good kitchen designer. Um, but they vary massively. So I think it's really good to be engaged with it as well, if you can. Um, but anyway, that's that's all for today. Really happy to share that we got our walls up and, uh, and that they were looking so good and we're really thrilled to bits with them. Um, if you enjoyed this this episode, please do uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to uh, to follow the rest of the series. And uh, please come back very soon. That's all for now. Bye bye.